Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Today in this video, I am going to share with you something which has got a huge potential when it comes to running large language models locally. Interestingly enough, this very exciting development has come from China where they have broken yet another ceiling when it comes to hardware. In this video, we are going to dive deep into a very critical technology which is for sure is going to shape the future of AI and I have no doubt in my mind. This topic could be a turning point for AI computing and ultra fast energy efficient and potentially industry shifting flash memory device recently developed by researchers in China. This breakthrough if realized at scale may finally smash one of the biggest bottlenecks holding back AI fast, persistent and affordable local memory. Before I give you more details to wow you, let me also introduce our very good friends at NextVIO who are sponsoring this video. If you are sick of answering the same customer questions day after day but keep procrastinating on automation because of the technical complexities, NextVIO creates smart sport chatbots without coding. And if you are one of the first 10 to click on the link which is below, you will get a chatbot custom built by NextVIO AI experts. I think that's a very, very good offer. And as I said, you can find the link of their website in video's description. So please do check them out. Coming back to this Marvel, which has just been released a couple of hours ago. Let's set the stage by first understanding what flash memory is and why I am so excited. Flash memory is a type of non-volatile storage, meaning it holds data without constantly drawing power. It's what makes your USB drivers, SSDs and memory cards so convenient. They remember everything, even when unplugged. But this same technology has long lagged behind your computer's RAM when it comes to speed. RAM or random access memory can operate incredibly quick, but as soon as power is out, everything stored is lost, meaning your session data vanishes in an instant. Flash, on the other hand, preserves your work, but has historically been too slow to keep up with the speed required by demanding processes especially those used by modern AI. And if you are into this field, you know what I am talking about. That is where this new breakthrough comes in. Scientists at this Fudan University have developed a new non-volatile memory called POX, which completely changes the rules. It can program a single bit in just 400 picoseconds and you can count the zeros, I think there are too many of them, or about 25 billion operations per second. I will repeat it, and that is true. 25 billion operations per second. To put it into more perspective, that's roughly 10,000 times faster than today's top commercially available flash memory. And there is no uh, fluff to it, by the way. Past attempts at faster non-volatile memory have always hit a physical roadblock, especially as the demand for AI and data-driven application increases. The group's innovation hinges on using two-dimensional direct graphene as a replacement for traditional silicon channels, exploiting the unique property called as ballistic charge transport. By tweaking the so-called Gaussian length, in the channel, they have achieved words described as super injection, essentially allowing limitless charge transfer at speeds previously thought impossible, especially for flash. It's a radical rethinking of the physics behind persistent storage, pushing the boundaries of what flash can do. And in this table, I have given you the snapshot of what I'm talking about, the feature of this new flash. Now, the question is, why I am so excited? I mean, why do I think this is a big deal, especially when it comes to AI? And why does this matter for AI, especially for people 
wanting to run large language models and other complex AI locally instead of on remote cloud server. The answer boils down to bottlenecks. In AI and particularly in edge devices or on personal computers, memory speed, not raw processing power, is the primary limiting factor for local inference and training. Presently, AI accelerators often need to shuttle terabytes of modern parameters back and forth and current flash memory is too slow for such rapid fire access. This has forced designers to use volatile, power-hungry RAM clashes and caches, adding cost, complexity and energy consumption. This new POX memory is non-volatile, which means it can retain data even without power. But now it can do so at blistering and unprecedented speed, rivaling or even surpassing the fastest RAM. Imagine an AI model stored right on your device, instantly available every time you boot up with memory that works as quickly as what the processor demands, yet consumes a fraction of the power. For local AI models like language model assistants, personalized vision applications, and advanced robotics, this could mean near instant interaction, dramatically increasing battery life, and smaller, more efficient hardware designs are just around the corner then. I'm a huge um, cognizant and fan of energy reduction, so let's consider energy too. For mobile devices, wearables and edge computing deployments, every milliwatt counts and we all know that. Traditional RAM rapidly and really rapidly drains battery because it constantly needs refreshing power while standard flash is too slow to work as system memory, POX breaks the cycle, offering instant on personal devices, low power servers and possibly even AI based applications in environments where energy use was once a showstopper such as remote sensors or autonomous drones and that is not a single and simple innovation in my opinion. And the story doesn't just stop there. There is another angle here that excites both researchers and practical minded engineers, compatibility. Often the thing is that groundbreaking hardware remains academic for years because it simply cannot be made using standard chip fabrication processes. It's just too different. Now, early commentary, um, which I am reading in various uh, Chinese newspapers especially um, and I'm not going to show you that you can check it out it's all in Chinese uh, it's really hard to read that but I am just translating them and it's very interesting they are very excited about this by the way now early you know the new POX memory based on graphene channels could fit into a fabrication pipeline that the world's chip foundries are already investigating this compatibility could mean that the new tech doesn't languish in R&D limbo for another decade, but instead moves towards real-world production much faster. Picture an AI-enabled future where instant persistent memory can keep up with the logic, giving, giving us database engines that retain their entire working set between power cycles, phones and laptops that boot instantly, and AI applications running locally with minimal latency and power. It would mark a major upgrade in privacy too, in my opinion. But all is not rosy, of course, as usual. Challenges remain. Mass production, fabrication yields, and long-term endurance will be under the microscope as industry players evaluate the potential. But the door is now open to a future where AI truly goes local and persistent thanks to quantum leap in non-volatile memory speed so whether you are pushing the envelope on large language models at the edge or dreaming of seamless instant on user experiences, this new flash memory may be the missing piece of the puzzle. So I hope that this was useful. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.